We're at Mount Carroll, and today we might be kayaking uh, Kell Creek, about to call Rockaloosa Creek. I believe this is the creek right up here. I'm not sure. Looks like it would be a road that you would take to go over. And looks like there's water flowing. That's a good sign. It's always a good sign. And that's a cold boulder right there. Yeah, that might be enough. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's awesome. That's gonna be a cool little trip. Yep. All right. We are on for this adventure. That's just what I was hoping for. That's a nice willow tree right there. God, that's. This is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> ah, this is so relaxing, isn't it? It's gonna be awesome. Well, I kind of really wanted to just come down here and see how, you know, this is the first bend to how the rapids are. I mean, it's gonna be a little trivial thing here. But yeah, they've got a couple little nice rapids to there. Jeez. <laughs> we'll have to stay on one side or the other. It's got nice big shoots come down. Some rock bluffs. Take a look at that. Look how wouldn't that got. And that, that's a running motor right there. Very oh, nice. <laughs> and we just paddle leisurely until we get to the next bend. You know, it's gonna be some nice little rapids. This is awesome. You can see that it's not too, not too deep, but there's some rapids, man. Cool. Let me see, sorry, wet. This first little dip is going to be a doozy. <laughs> I don't know. You might have to go in further. Half these rocks. Doing a scooter here. Now he's going to be in the main channel. Oh, <laughs> we think. There we go. There we go. Now we're sailing. Water pushes you pretty good. Look at the view with that weeping willow. Get in over here to the left. I 
Oh, that's gonna be a good picture. Remember, the right side's gonna be shallow up here. The right side's more shallow. Yeah. It might be a little shallow here too, but. Oh man. Uh oh. And down. To center it. <laughs> Maybe September is not the best time. If you had a 10 foot kayak, you'll be alright. A smaller one may not be. See when we make this turn. This is gorgeous out here, guys. I tell ya. <laughs> Seems a little deeper on the left. Yeah. Face. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun except for when I start bottoming out. <laughs> I'll let you go in the center. Bit the deepest. Nice little rapids here, there. <laughs> Good thing you have a plug in. Mine don't. I don't have a plug of mine. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's all open air. Well, some of the exciting parts are over, I think. It's all an adventure. <laughs> Your kayak's almost perfect for this. Yeah. Just need to drop about a, that 50 pound anchor I've got in it. Okay, in my stomach. <laughs> Not a rapid. Out here is gorgeous. 
Look at this. I'll tell you what, it definitely is motivation to to lose a little bit of weight knowing that I float on the water a little better. Definitely different from flat water for the lake. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's actually a lot easier to, to paddle on this than like the Rock River. Yeah. Even when you get to a little rapid type area. I think the left is going to be your best bet, but I'm not sure yet. This is a nice little dip. Go in the center. Well, go keep going. Oh, It's in perfect time for the water. It's a little shallow here and there. Definitely areas that you have to scoot. Definitely the left side the better. Get out. Who knows how long this is going to be shallow like this? <laughs> I got my Crocs in sports mode. It's okay. I mean, it's a little deeper here. Almost you know, halfway at me. I mean, you can get back in. Give it a try. Give it a shot. I've ever got in the boat in the middle of the river. <clears throat> right. Sir, if you ever get overheated, you just get right down in this water. <laughs> exactly. Freeze you right out. Gator? Mm -mm. Nope, I never bought that. Trip? That'd be awesome out here. <laughs> Water's a lot deeper here. The tree right here is playing across. You may have to be a little careful going around it.
Oh smokes. Um, I don't know about this. <laughs> Why don't we go to the left, the very far left, and just get on land? And <laughs> we'll see how we go. I don't know about this. Yep, you don't mind getting wet, dude. this thing did but if it was even just six inches higher this whole thing would have been you know i don't think we would have got stuck once right <laughs> may even be able to go over that thing you just did if i were they would go to the right i, don't, I wouldn't got stuck but we're not gonna let nature fight against me i'll just let nature take me where it's going to take me it's a nice little area back here. This is kind of a, a neat little yeah. play. Now you can see all the rock bluffs. Turtle. Oh, that's not a turtle. Beer can, probably. There's another little rapid. <laughs> There's a rock right here. What's that? There's a rock right there. Okay, thanks. There's a rock right there. <laughs> There's dragons everywhere. Bumps. 
gosh. This is a quiet, you just can't get much other places. It's gorgeous. It's a lazy river. Yeah. So compared to the canal, is this moving a little, a little more swiftly or about the it, same? It's, the canal doesn't move, it's this fast. It doesn't what? It doesn't move, it's this fast. Oh, uh, okay. And, uh, I mean, you have to get outside of town before you get rid of the, the road noise and all that. Yeah. You don't just hear, I mean, it's winter time, you don't hear nothing. But it's never this way. This is pretty awesome. some b-roll footage I'm taking for you. Alright. At the rock right here. <laughs> You're gonna hear it. Oh yeah. Look up there, that's the rock right there. There could be a cave right up in there. Somewhere up here, somewhere down here about halfway through. There's an old, like a cave that this miner dug out. He's found a lead vein, and it's all dug out. Like he went in there with the chisel and all that stuff. Oh, really? That'd be pretty cool to check out. Is it on our little stretch? Yeah, I think it's gonna be keep going where we're at. Nice. It's gonna be ahead of us. Woodpecker. You see how clear that water is, it's so gorgeous. You see the grass underneath here to the right. Definitely gonna bottom out.
tells you the transformation that this land would have made over the past, you know, thousands of years. Right. Like this water was just kind of carving its way through the earth. And it's been all inhabited, but nothing but animals and... I've always been leery about going under these trees. <laughs> Maybe that one moment that something goes crick yep. and then bloosh. <laughs> and you get stuck at the same time. That's crazy. Have you heard of Neil deGrasse Tyson, that astrophysicist? Mm -hmm. He was on uh, the Joe Rogan podcast, and he was saying that if like a cosmic giant were to come up and rub his, you know, big giant cosmic finger over the face of the earth, that to him it would feel smoother than a cue ball does to us. Huh. And, what's, and, and he explained it, he's like, the top of K1, which is the top, highest point on the planet, is like 28,000 feet, which is like six miles or something like that. And then the Mariana Trench, which is the lowest point on Earth, is only uh, five miles deep. So from the highest point to the very lowest point is only 11 miles. And the Earth is 8,000 miles long. So, and those two points are so drastically far apart that if you were to shrink the earth down to the size of a cue ball, that's what it would feel like. Wow. Kind of a crazy thing to think about. Yeah. Especially after looking at the walls back there. I think the left side is the easiest way. <laughs> These rapids are crazy. Look at that lock though, man. Oh, I won't say the rapids are crazy. It's just the unexpected rocks that you get underneath. Here's some rapids right here. Wow. Stuck. <laughs> Patrick got loose. <laughs> Look how big that tree is. So there's the rock block area there. It's all like cut out, you know. I wonder if that's sand rock. If that's just, yeah. You know, at some point the water starts swollen back there with all that foam that's built up. You see that, like. 12 inch layer of foam back here. Yeah. Makes me want a latte. <laughs> That's a cool rock right here. Yeah, it is. I'm going to go to the left. Yeah. Anchor rock. Anchor rock. And then we got the Pac Man rock up here on the right. Check that out. Looks like Pac Man. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Tell you these people missed out. Let's go 
with the flow. The only time that that, there's a dead, is that a turtle? Not the lead. Way to go, Patrick, just splash yourself in a bunch of water. <laughs> Definitely 10 foot kayaks are better for this, I think. What's that? 10 foot kayaks are better, I think, for this. More buoyancy and it's not so rocky, unless you like rocky. There's a big rock right here. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Ain't that cool. Very cool. Well, the, uh, the fern. That's just some awesome landscape right there. That looks like sand rock, sandstone. A little bit, yeah. And they break off in chunks like that. Definitely gonna have to go over to the right here. And there's a log right there. No, you don't have to get out, no. Will I be able to get through where you're at? Yeah, you're fine. I think you'll be all right. Probably your best option. It's deeper out here in the center though. Right here to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. You can see how I just eroded away all that right there, yeah. created a shelf. That's the kind of stuff I like to see, you know, is see how well it's just washed that out. Do you know the water was that high at one point? Oh, yeah. It would have been a raging river back in the day, probably. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that, the uh, cave is. But I don't think it's far from here, though. I don't know if we'll be able to get into it. We still got a nice it. little jaunt before we get to the car, so. Yeah. I'm sure at some point it'll turn up. They might be behind all the uh, you know, skudzu and poison ivy. You ever had poison ivy or poison oak or anything? I've had some poison ivy. Uh, we had that poison ivy and oak down south and got in it a few times and not a lot. Not a fun trip. I've heard, I mean, obviously I've heard of poison oak and then also uh, like poison sumac. Yep. But I've never had anything. I had a little poison ivy, but I'm pretty lucky. It's just like a giant rash that blisters, you know. It would be impossible to bring that with, but that would be a cool stump. Right there. 
It almost looks like you got burned, you know, that yeah. kind of a deal. Look over to your right. A huge rock bluff in that area. What's that? Huge rock bluff. Oh, yeah. Now it's all flat down there. Huh. Got that? Done this exact thing we're doing. Probably not many. I would say probably under 30. I even meant just like throughout time. Like maybe some Indians had a little, uh, their, their little hollowed out canoe. Yeah. Down here. You never know. Looking shallow. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably... In, in April, it might actually be a little <laughs> Well, you know, that water when the bridge didn't look any different in April than it did in... Yeah, I agree. At least yeah. It's about the same. Really. Oh. It's deep here. Knee deep here. Get halfway through, you'll be all right. Go another 15 feet, you're, you'll be good. Go another 10, 15 feet, you'll be good. About right there. Another gorgeous little area. Wow. This is awesome. I don't think there's any fish that are big enough in here that how you know, Creek River fish up about it. No, yeah, not no a bass or anything like that. It would be interesting to see, like, after the snow thaws off, if this thing, you know, comes up a good, you know, 6 to 12. Well, it looks like it dropped, like, 3 inches if you look on the rock over here. Yeah, yeah. So it's gotten down. In the last week or so. Yeah. Okay, right here. Yeah, I see that.
I don't know if I feel ambiguous to take and get out and go look and see if there's a bear in there or not. <laughs> there is an opening over here we can kind of yeah. see, uh, see what it looks like on the inside if you want. That's a little cove, yeah. You know, that might be a good area to take and get out of the water if you're like in a rainstorm. <laughs> yeah, just, if you could back in, that'd be ideal. Yeah. Look at that, it's like almost perfectly flat. Yeah. I mean, other than that. little ferns growing out of the, the side, out of the cracks in the rock. It's fern, yeah. So what do you think of that eight-footer? Yeah, hey, I like it. It's nice and short. It's a little tippy, a little rocky. Yeah. It that it's... might come with it being a few feet shorter, though. I don't know, you, you, you would probably be better judge of that than me. Yeah. If, if it's any shorter than this for me, I mean, if I didn't have the tripod in front of here, it might be all right, but for like stuff like this, for people my size, it's yeah. perfect. I was gonna say, this one, I actually think I like the 10 footer a little better. A little shallow, but it's a little deeper over here to the right. Yeah. Nice cool breeze. Oh, oh. Oh. This is your captain. He got into some little turbulence. That was coming in hot too. <laughs> maybe maybe the center is not the best way to go. <laughs> Woo. We found some hot. I don't know why that guy's video is only seven minutes long. <laughs> we want to show you the beauty, not all the little bumps and bruises you get. <laughs> oh, but it's worth it. Yeah, I'm having a blast, man. This is a great way to spend a Saturday morning. She ain't going to see anything like this where we're at no. now. There are a lot of people that wouldn't take the time out of their day to experience something like this. No. I mean, it's just... This is the kind of stuff I hope I can instill in my kids. Yeah. Come on and enjoy this. Yeah. Get away from the video games and, you know, this yeah. is kind of stuff is the tablets, shallow, the shallow enough you don't have to worry about them, you know, having any issues. You still wouldn't put a life vest on them. You know, this kind of part over here, it's kind of, mm. it's, it's, three feet? it's three feet deep. Yep. Still no need for an adult to wear a life vest. No. That's a cool little rock the thing there that just yeah, fell off yeah, there. Can, it looks like you can almost tell exactly that it just poof, fell right off that shelf yeah. there. Yeah, it was just layered. It reminds me of sandstone so much, but I don't know if it's sandstone or just limestone. It might be limestone. Probably limestone. It looks yellow, yeah. It's chunks. And I do know limestone's predominant in this area. Yeah. Right, that's why you'll see a lot of older homes that have limestone basements or cellars. They all did that. They chunked it in, in that thing. Look to your right. It's a little small creek. Maybe you want to go check it out? No. There's a you gate right there. Ends, yeah. Yeah. I'd go over here to your left. I thought I'd see a paddle back in there. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be fun here in the next few seconds. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, she's fast. Oh, there we go. 
Patrick for the assist. I think if it's three inches a little bit higher, it would have been perfect paddle. What's that? If it had been three inches higher, it would been a perfect paddle. Yeah. That was probably the most fun so far because we were able to keep kind of just going through it. Yeah. As long as you don't get a, a rock head on and you get boom. <laughs> <Find him. laughs> kind of jarring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta don't deal with that much on the canal, huh? No, no. <laughs> it's all pretty deep. It's, so. it's, it's, it's four feet deep, yeah. and it's a lazy river. It's just, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. you you hit trees, and that's about it. <laughs> There's no rapids whatsoever. <laughs> There's no rock bluffs like this by any means. Yeah, I was talking about earlier. Yeah. You know, and I like seeing stuff like this. It's minimal trash. Yeah. I mean, there's some stuff there, but the canal, it, it's... It does speak to the extreme remoteness of this waterway, that there's not a lot of, you know, human impact. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that, that's for sure. This little thing here is cool. It's a little bell shape to the right. Yeah. You can just look out ahead of you when you got this running water with the bend in the creek and the yep. sun brightly shining down. It's perfect. We couldn't have got a better day for this. No. It's going to be raining tomorrow, some. So yeah, this has been perfect, perfect day. Right temperature. <laughs> I wish this camera had front and, front and back view. <laughs> to see my facial expression. <laughs> Cause it's such a giant thing, like, oh. Surprised we haven't seen any deer or anything. You know? The back of that kayak is completely underwater, by the way. Is it? I like about leaning back on huh? Yeah. I don't have a plug in it. I didn't think about bringing one. <laughs> eventually get out.
Like it's just washed away, huh? Yeah, I mean, when you first look at it, it's almost like it looks like it'd be man-made, but... Yeah. It's not. I mean, I don't think it is, anyway. We've been in, like, a little waterfall or something. When it rained, it would have been yeah. gushing out, probably. There's definitely some deep holes in this place. Man. It's definitely a lot not deeper. You know, I hear uh, a lot of people talk shit about the Midwest that live around here. But if you ask me, it don't, there's not a lot better that you can spend your time doing than something like this. Oh, that was fun. Crazy how swift this thing can be, and it's just. I'm gonna do a three fifty. Maybe I'll do like that uh, kayak there we're talking about and start feathering it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make a kayak YouTube channel and call it Feathering It. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look how deep that, that goes. There's a camp out here called Camp Benson. I saw that when we were driving. It looked like a YMCA camp or something. Yeah, Boy Scouts. Oh, was it? Boy Scouts, yeah. I wonder if it's open to the public. I don't know. So we have a fork in the road here. You can either go right or you can go left. <laughs> I shall take the road less travel. I don't know which one looks more fun. The one to the right. I wonder if this, this isn't that island we can see, is it? Like the back side of it? I don't know. The one to the left is uh, that shallow. That looks like it's completely blocked. Yeah. There's some of the inflatable grass. Ah, oh, that was interesting. I'm dragging a tree with me. My wooden duck. That wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I almost disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Both disappeared. 
Come on, they keep going, come on. They're getting beat up by the tree. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Spiders all over me. Nice. You know, I like all these little, little small, little class one action. You know, and that's all it is. It's class one. Yeah. And that that first dip that I did, that, that back there, with the, that would have been like a, a minor class two. So I mean, we're getting into some good rapids here. That's, enough guts to go through. Another three inches, we'll be in. Everybody's been enjoying the video. <laughs> That's a little footbridge right there. To the left. Me too. Turn around, good picture, Patrick. Scenery photo. Mm. 
I'm going to the right. And it went pretty good, huh? I decided to go under the tree as opposed to around it and got a face full of spider webs. That's why I go around them because I don't. It, it, spider season is this time of the year. I found there a lot of kayaking, but if I can go where it's area, I don't have to worry about trees being down too much. Done much metal detecting lately? No. That's another hobby I want to get into. It's fun. Found a lot of money. Father-in-law found an 1892 silver dollar. That was that was awesome. Oh wow! That was their best find there. He was so excited. I don't think we'll ever match anything that epic. Just. I'm gonna try to center. It's shallow. I won't go for it. So I was looking at uh, a metal detector, and then the, the brand is called Garrett. Yep, that's good. that's one of the better ones. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking about it's like it's called like the Garrett Eight or something, like 400. Or... Yeah. A little rocky, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I saw some package deals on Amazon where you get the metal detector, the little shovel for digging out the spots, and the little, uh, just like handheld detector. Yeah, they call that carrot stick. Looks like yeah, yeah, carrot. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, for like, 350, 400 bucks. That's not bad at all, really. Garrett is one of the better ones. Next to White, White's is probably the best that, one. That's there. what my old boss is telling me. He he uh he got out of the Navy. He decided to take it up as a hobby. And he was like looking around and did like consumer reports and stuff and talked to people that did a lot of uh, metal detecting and he bought a white. They're they're he, expensive. He he told me he spent about twelve hundred bucks on his, and I was like, that, that thirty years about ago, right. like not thirty, maybe fifteen years ago. But yeah, I mean, I've seen some. It, it, sky's the limit. How much you really want to spend? There's some that are like four or five thousand dollars. I'd like to go out to Colorado and do some of the gold prospecting with them. Yeah, that, that would be pretty fun. All right, we've got another fork in the road. This one looks pretty similar. I mean, we've been having pretty good luck just sticking to the right. What do you think? There's some small club, the chubfish or something that swim around. It looks like more current to the right. I haven't seen any turtles sunning themselves on logs. Yeah. I mean, I've seen little small, like, three-inch fish. Yeah, little, like, minnows. Here over to the right. Away from the tree.
there's enough current here. Thanks for the help. <laughs> it's, it's weird because as you start approaching some of these smaller little rapids, it can be deceiving the way the water ripples. You don't know if it's over an inch. It's only sticking in, you know, there's only an inch of water going over the top of it. Right. <laughs> Seems like that plug's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. I don't hear or feel any water sloshing around. Good. Glad I saw that. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to know. We would have been here and we would have been standing here for twice as long. Trying to get the water out of it. So there's some, uh, Four by four posts sticking up. Yeah, man, may, uh, maybe a deer stand? You blind? I'm be at that camp. There's a whole chute and something back there. It's got little eyelets, like, I wonder if it's for hanging. I don't know what you would hang on it. Hammocks? <laughs> they, yeah, they probably put their hammocks up there. That's probably the camp. They probably put the hammocks up there in yeah. the four by four post. Yeah. And see the eyelets, the little eyelets, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They got the little eyelets to. Yeah. They probably put their hammocks up. Come down here to the water. And I don't know how much jumping they would do, but. It'd be a good spot for kids because this area is right in here is real tall. Yeah. I can't get over how clear this water really is if you look at it. Some people. <laughs> like up into the left. Yeah. New banjo for running. <laughs> <laughs> Paddle faster. <laughs> Delivered. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> it's obvious like a pavilion or something there. Man, that is insane. In a post apocalyptic world, us turning that bend and seeing that big old netting would have been nice to see. Use that net for catching fish and stuff. Wow. Look at this wall. That is amazing. That's crazy. Be able to get underneath there. Might be kind of cool. Right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your picture with it. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
fuel. Yeah, I'm surprised. Hi. I would have figured we would have seen more squirrels, more maybe even some deer. Beautiful out. That much I do know. I'd like to try this in April sometime. Do okay. that next year. Try in April? Yeah. Yeah. Be colder, but makes you wonder how much of a reason. Or if it's not any different and it's just, it's just the same way. You never know. I mean, but if you just look along the shoreline, it looks like there's evidence that it's been higher. Like the best route in life, just take the left. Maybe. Go over here now. See how deep it is. Oh, here. that's like four feet right there. Oh, nice little deep hole. I hear some rapids coming up. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Alongside this trek are so good There you go. Better it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a ton. That one's sweet. I like that one. Wow. That might be the cave to the right. Marlin, you caught. Bit. 
<laughs> wow people, this is amazing. Check that out. That is awesome. This is awesome. Rock right here. Okay. That bluff. Weed and ivy vine is blowing down. It's good for your face. I may not be able to record the whole thing. I'm at 20% now. What's that? I'm at 20% for my battery. Oh, yeah. I may not be able to record the whole thing. That's the only problem with iPhones. They don't have, like, an external battery where you can just bring backups. Right. I don't even know if Android do that anymore, but... Get over this way. <laughs> Get deeper. Those small rapids here. <sighs> oh, awesome little river, creek, whatever you want to call it. Rockaroosa River. <laughs> There's one hand in it. <laughs> Got some cool footage there. I'd like to know where that cave was. What's that? What type of rock it is? Yeah, where they cut in with that cave. I'd love to know where that's at. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome to see. Hopefully, we'll run into it. Yeah. Trying to look at stuff that looks familiar from the video. It's 
sunlight shining through the haze. That's gorgeous. I mean, this video doesn't do this justice. No, no, not at all. I did put that on the map so anybody can see and be like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Are you going to turn this into a YouTube video? What's that? Are you going to turn this into a YouTube video? Yeah, this is going to be the YouTube video for this trip. Nice. So. I'll send you all of the video clips I can. Maybe you can mash it into your video. Give a little bit different perspective of you going, you know, from a camera following you down the tree. Yeah. Do that. I just, these, these rock buffs are so massive. It's just, holy crap, you know. 50, 75 feet up high. And this is some backwaters. Know it deep. Another rapid right up here. Can't get all, all the vegetation in the center of this. Oh. Turn the video off to preserve the battery. Sometimes you get into little areas here that can't cross. There's a tree there. <laughs> and you want to stay as close as possible to shoreline because you get any further this way and it's deeper than me. Tell you that much. <laughs> But it still goes out. Yeah, what we don't say is getting out and having to push a kayak in such areas that, you know, so shallow. There's a cool little, sort of being like a bridge here. I don't know where. There's nothing on the other side. Or then maybe that's a zip line. Could be a zip line. But yeah. We got the pictures of the rock clubs everywhere. It's just amazing. 
And we're just walking in the water. And then we'll get too far and then we'll have to get in. We'll start getting deeper. We've probably got another half a mile or so, three quarter of a mile. All these rapids, most of these rapids, it's just so low. Most of them you can get through. A lot of them, I tell you, you kind of just have to scoot through. But the view is so amazing. Anybody that tries this, just got to check the water line, the water level. I'll let you zip by and get you on film. You can go through the, the rapid. <laughs> That's how fast they get. There's a lot of rapids like this, where it's nice and swift moving, and you'll get some surprise rocks. But uh, the rock bluffs, is, I think we're now kind of in the homestead areas where people live. There's a nice house over here to the right. But yeah, it's been a gorgeous trip. I think it is now 12.50, it's one o'clock. I've been on the water for four hours. So, <laughs> if you're planning on doing this, give yourself some time, I'll tell you that much. <laughs>